Hi, this is Justice. For the last couple of years, I've been the main tutorial maker for the Rebel software. You can see me right here on the Escape Motions YouTube page. And if you click on videos, right here, about 75 to 80% of these videos uh, I've made over the last couple of years. And the list is very extensive. There's a lot of videos here. You can see all of these by Justice Frangipani. In this video, I'm going to show you my personal use, how I use Rebel 6 Pro. So you have an idea of uh, with all the information or almost all the information and tools available in Rebel 6, uh, plus tools that I use from uh, my own company that were made to work with Rebel 6. What is, in my opinion, the best way, the most effective way to paint and draw? So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you the tools that I use. So right here, I have the pencil tool. I have an eraser brush. I have a blender. I have a shadow brush. I have a pulled string brush. I have a push. This is a smudge liquify. For the moment, you have to tap over here. Uh, the first time you turn on Rebel, each time you turn on Rebel, tap it once and then it'll stay. Um, this is the liquify push tool. Um, this one is a soft blender and this one is being deleted. Remove brush preset. All right, so let's look at how these tools are being used. Uh, I would love to do something epic and amazing, but we're just going to do something simple. Uh, and I'm using the artist pad. So let's go ahead and hide the UI. The artist pad is this over here. Uh, I'm using a uh, Asus ROG Z13 2023 model. This is a tablet with a touchscreen. Uh, and the stylus, I'm using the R530 stylus from Renacer. I like this combo, and I'm having the uh, tablet held in front of my face. This is my face right here, and right about um, four or five inches below my eyes is the screen. I really like this, and I work in bed with an angled pillow and support under my legs, and I find this extremely comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and start drawing. So we're gonna draw just the basic shape of an eye. And we're gonna draw here. We're gonna scratch in a little bit of shape and that should be good. Okay, now we're going to switch to the blend brush inside of favorites. I'll show you how I have this set up. I'm gonna switch back here, draw the pupil, kind of blend it, get a little bit more, then we're going to erase, erase, let's add a little bit here to the eye, to the shape, we're going to pull here across, uh, we're going to delete, and we're going to pull again, and I'm saying pull, uh, what I mean actually is not pull, but we're, we're using the blend number four. Uh, however, we're not using it the standard way. We're using it with uh, the favorites brush and it's set up uniquely. Okay, so let's say that this is pretty close to what we want. We're gonna blend a little bit here on these edges. Add a little bit here. Let's increase the brush size. Pull here across the bottom, across the top, I'm going to erase again, push again. We're not pushing, we're blending using the favorite brush that I showed you. Okay, let's add a little bit here, right here along the bottom. Actually, this would be better done with the Pull the string brush. Okay. 
And without getting into too many details here on uh, the drawing itself, I think you can see uh, how things are being done. Okay, so we have the general idea. I'm going to switch back here to the pencil and blend just a little bit more. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. All right, so then we're going to switch to the liquify tool and let's add a little bit of interest to the shape. All right, and that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna erase a little bit in here. Okay, so this, this is how I like to work. I like uh, probably the most that I don't have to change my focus from where I'm drawing. I feel like I stay in, in the zone the best when my eyes are looking at what I'm drawing or painting. As soon as I start searching for tools and looking around the UI, I find that I, um, I just slow down. I start getting distracted. I'm thinking about something other than what I'm actively doing. And so for me, this is ideal. If it were slower, I would still do it because I feel like it's, it's, it's just a pure process. It, it feels nicer, it's more focused. Uh, so let me show you a little bit of what I have set up. And I will try not to get distracted into painting more. Okay. All right, so let's hide the UI again and I'll show you how I do a couple other things. So here I have these panels set up here. So I have a two button stylus and I can click and open these different panels. Uh, some of them I have set up to stay open until I click once. So I could click here on uh, watercolor and it'll close for me, which is very nice. Here are the different brushes. So this is how this works. If I want to edit one of these, I would tap and hold the stylus and then tap here. And I would just pick what this is and tutorials are right here. Okay, so settings inside of Rebel. Keyboard, uh, the main ones here, I use uh, these ones. So this is shift plus five, shift plus six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, position 10 is shift plus zero. Now in Rebel, this is showing this, this character instead of the number, but it is just the number plus shift. That's what's going in here. All right, so inside of favorites, so let's go over to the favorites tab. You can see I have these brushes set up here. Uh, these are set up with paint mode into brush presets. I'll uh, upload these to the brush gallery so you guys can download and use these. I have this brush, which is number seven, keyboard shortcut seven is set to erase. Eight is set to blend. Uh, this one um, is number nine. Number 10, pulled string has this saved to brush preset hold string, and then these settings here. And there's some uh, things that I would change here. Uh, this one, liquify, the way that you do this, you just go here the same way and click copy brush preset to favorite. Since it's already there, we don't have that option. Uh, one of the other things that I do uh, is switching back and forth between the different painting modes. This is really critical if you want to make uh, beautiful art quickly. So here, if I'm using the pencil tool and I tap and hold on four, I can switch to blending. And when I release, go right back to painting. This is so important. Same thing with erasing. I'm erasing, I release, and I go right back to painting. 
So if you're using Rebel and you're not using these keyboard shortcuts, you're wasting a lot of time and effort and it feels lovely. So try and get used to this as quickly as you can. The other thing that I would mention is using both hands. This is really important because if you're doing everything with one, you're doing twice the amount of work as using both hands. Um, that math is not perfect, but you get the idea. So over here on the left, you'll see that I'm using my left hand. If you're not using keyboard shortcuts, you need to be using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm using them with pen and touch. You can do them however you'd like if you want to use a keyboard. This is just my preference. Okay, and then we have panels available right here. So this should be larger. I have a few videos where I talk about using lock transparency in order to paint directly on some refined lines. I suggest watching that video. It's here in the Escape Motions uh, YouTube page, and I'll link to that in the description. If you guys would like to learn more about using Rebel 6 Pro with a tablet using Tablet Pro Studio, then go to the link in the description here. There's a blog post on the Rebel website on how to set this up. And you can also jump into the Discord channel for Tablet Pro Studio. We have a channel specifically for Rebel, and I can help you with that process. And there's a lot of people there in the community that can help you get started as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.